Hi everyone, this is Randy and this is Jim Oak. Uh, this week I would like to cover uh, a stone that actually is very commonly used in jewelry but uh, you may not be quite as familiar with. It's Amazonite. Uh, it actually is named that because uh, supposedly but not authenticated was supposed to have been dis first discovered in the Amazon River or along the Amazon River, which would probably have to be in Brazil, I'm guessing, since that's the country that the Amazon is in the most. Um, however, uh, it was a, a, a stone of this color that was discovered, but it was long enough ago that uh, probably not properly documented, but you know, what the heck, they didn't change the name. Now, Amazonite is a, is a blue, blue-green mineral. It is a variety of potassium feldspar. It comes in greens, blues, purples, and grays. Now, it is known as the gambler stone uh, because it encourages good luck and fortune. Uh, it's supposed to soothe the nervous system uh, and bring calming and soothing energy. It is associated with Virgo, uh, zodiac sign, but is also good for those of Leo, Aries, and Scorpio. Uh, and so we're going to explore this stone, look at the different color variations. Uh, and see where it falls on the Presidium. It's supposed to be a hardness of around 6. So here I have a variety uh, of different color options of Amazonite. And as you can see, there is a variety of color. I actually have some raw stones and some of the darker stones and some ones working on the sideline. I've got a whole tub over here full of it. Um, so this is a, a beautiful big bead. Now see how it has little bits of white, or, or not white, but lighter color in it. it, it there, there's texture to it. Uh, it's not just one solid saturated color. Um, now, it, it probably in its lighter shade could be confused with um, a Laramar. Uh, but it's a beautiful stone. This is in the in the in the really uh, getting closer to a turquoise kind of blue. A lot of similar range are these. They're chips. Again, see their variety. Even in the strand, there's a variety of color. And then this is a, a little oval. Again, variety of color in there. Now, in the form that I really like a lot is these little nuggets. Now, look at these pale blue, which actually look like uh, raw aquamarine. But we've got a cream, brownish, beige, uh, almost white. Here's one. the same nugget form. Look at these variations. Now these are some of the odd color combinations. So you've got some that are a, a dark brown. Uh, see this variation in this one? That, you know, I could easily see where someone might think of these as an agate. In fact, I bet you anybody would say a lot of these were agate, but they're not. They're Amazonite. Then here, I have some very flat coin shares, some, some squares. These really look like Laramar. See, it has a beautiful natural shape. Here's some little fishy bead shapes. And they haven't been polished. And I think that these would be really neat wire wrapped. Now let's see 
of that. I'm going to bring our presidium in and let's see where they fall. Can you see this dial? Move the dial. Okay. Of course the challenge is you seeing the stone I'm actually testing. So let's test this little round one. And see where it goes. Well that comes up, but it's going through one, two, three, actually four. It's touching quartz. It's right in the middle of the chrysophase emerald, nephrite. Uh, it's also in the middle of tanzanite aqua. And it's also at the end of garnet tourmaline. So the presidium may not be useful because it's actually in four different uh, ranges. Color-wise, someone could probably think that this was a jade. Let's try these big beads. If I can hold it still. Now these don't want to come up quite as high. They're uh, in the garnet tourmaline. They're also touching the chrysophase. Let's go try these little squares. Wow. Now look, they popped up to jadeite. But, see how that comes back down? That's something to be very aware of. Um, don't ever, when you're using the Presidium, don't assume where it first goes is what it is because it has to settle a little bit. Remember this pin is registering heat. And so the heat has to penetrate the stone. And within the stone, see like for example here, you've got variety of color. So there might be some density changes within the stone. And the heat has to deal with that. So perhaps a lighter stone would give you a different reading than, than this one. Let's test that. So here's the really clear one. And that goes up. And that one wants to go all the way up to jadeite. Now here's one with more color in it. And that one wants to stay down. See it's a denser stone and wants to stay down. Very interesting. Amazonite, Amazonite is not that easy to determine by, uh, by appearance. It's not real easy like other stones are. Uh, you have to trust your source. Let's try this one. And this one just goes up there. Again, it's falling in the... Uh, the garnet line, the tourmaline, it's touching tanzanite. It's also hitting the chrysophase. So um, they may have several properties that are similar to those other stones. Let's try one of these big nuggets. A raw nugget and see what we get there. And it, see how it's moving as the pins on it the longer? And there it goes. And it's saying it's touching on quartz, it's in chrysophase, it's in tanzanite, aqua, and it's in the garnet tourmaline line. So that's going to be a challenge. Let's try this little one. And that pops up and says, I want to be jadeite. But we know it's not. Unless whoever was selling it, which is a reputable place, didn't know what they were doing. And that one wants to pop up too. See? So, Presidium is not going to help you. Uh, and, and it's not an easy stone to identify. I would say this color is probably the easiest uh, color to identify. 
to say that's clearly Amazonite. Some of the other colors are not quite that easy. So I hope this hasn't confused you. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, Amazonite is a beautiful stone. It's fairly inexpensive. Uh, and so if you get a bluish green stone like this uh, that is hitting up uh, in those lines, uh, consider that it may be Amazonite. Uh, I hope that this has uh, been useful for you and I look forward to seeing you in chats.